you're the voice, try and understand it. Yes, this is uh, Richard Wollstonecroft here uh, from the Report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to discuss the Aboriginal voice, the parliament. No, not John Farnham. That could maybe be a, a topic for uh, another report. So stick around and listen. We're going to discuss the Aboriginal voice tonight on the Report from Tiger Mountain. Well, I've just been corrected, ladies and gentlemen. It's apparently the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice. So, exactly what is the voice, ladies and gentlemen? Well, apparently it's um, got to do with, uh, like, something that's put into the Constitution where Aboriginals will have some some kind of thing inserted, um, you know, some kind of voice in the Parliament that is actually something that's not democratic, that will just be there and based on their racial basis, you know what I mean? The fact that they were the original Australians, you know, that they will have this kind of say and possibly a veto over certain things that happen in Australia. Now, I mean, I think anybody who's interested in constitutional law, anybody who's interested in democracy ought to get panicked by that, because essentially this is something that can be used um, to basically override democracy if it serves the interest of the, uh, you know, uh, I guess the Aboriginal body that will be controlling the voice. Now, I mean, first of all, that body could easily be bribed by international factors like China, for example. You know, they could bribe this body and then, you know, the, the Aboriginal voice could start be singing, asking things that Beijing might like, for example. So, I mean, you know, I think it's a gigantic disaster. Um, I do think there's going to be a referendum on it, so we're going to have a, an opportunity to vote this down. And I do think that probably will be voted down because I can't see a majority of Australians supporting this. But, you know, uh, of late, there'll be a big media push to support it, I imagine so and all this white guilt shaming white people to support this rubbish but anyway um you know it, it seems to be that they want to uh you know bring in legislation place something in the constitution so there's this kind of permanent kind of non-con you know well, a non-democratic voice that could potentially have the power to veto things it's interesting over in new zealand um, you know, I don't know the exact details, but I was reading a story recently, uh, it was some Maori organisation and it was got to do with the Three Waters program. There's a very big port, one of the world's largest ports over in New Zealand, and that the, Ab uh, that's, sorry, not the Aborigines, the Maoris sort of, uh, were using their kind of veto to kind of like, essentially stifle business, um, you know, stop the development of the port. I mean, you've seen this in Australia just last week. There was some Aboriginal group that stopped the gas company from building in, well, the, you know, the ABC and the age were in up and up. Oh, I say how wonderful it was. Yeah, I mean, meanwhile, um, you know, all the jobs and all the energy from this uh, development project have been lost. So, you know, I mean, this is again, I mean, you've got to realise that the global elites are interested in sabotaging our economy. Essentially, we're under attack from the global elites. And I see this voice to parliament as just being another kind of globalist, you know, politically correct kind of woke tool or engine that they'll use against us. So, you know, that's why I would say, ladies and gentlemen, to reject the voice to parliament. Um, I mean, we've had a system of, um, you know, democracy in Australia, uh, the Westminster system that obviously came from the United Kingdom, um, that's had a, a reasonable amount of success in protecting our freedoms for the last uh, 100 years, 120 plus years, so uh, since Federation. So I'd say let's stick with that, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we should... Um, tell the voice to go uh, join, um, you know, uh, John Farnham in hospital to uh, recover and to, uh, you know, well, hopefully we like John Farnham, so we don't want him to expire, but, and we wish him well, but we hope the voice, the Aboriginal voice, uh, falls off the debate uh, along with the Republic, which is also another load of bullshit, but we'll discuss that in another report from Tiger Mountain. So thank you for listening.